in this episode, I get the dock base in the water. Stay tuned to find out how I did it. So whenever I was lifting up on the dock the other day, it started to separate right there. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that while we can. So the reason I made these angle brackets was to go right here to uh, help keep these boards together. So I went ahead and uh, put these angle brackets on the corners where it wasn't one complete uh, two by eight by 10. It was just little sections stretching across this front side. Um, that way it'll just stay together better and make me sleep better at night because uh, I was losing hours of sleep just thinking about this. So I decided to put some two by fours over these uh, one inch boards just for the time being, because I'm afraid whenever I put the barrels underneath here, the barrels are gonna wanna pop up and this board's not gonna be enough to support the barrel on its own because it will be supporting a lot of weight once the dock is off the ground on top of the barrels. So I'm just gonna put these two by fours going across the dock like this, secure them down so that way it just gives it more support. So my idea is to build a basic tripod and put the snatch block underneath and then have my winch running through the snatch block and then lifting up on one side of the dock to put a barrel underneath and then hopefully once this is off the ground the other side will be easier to lift and I'll be able to do that by myself and then hopefully I'll be able to roll the dock kind of like the barrels are acting as wheels and roll it into the water. There's a lot of hoping in this. I hope it works out. I don't think I have to mention it, but I've never done this before. I don't know, I'm not feeling 100% on this. Um, we'll see. I'm thinking if I screw this board down, I'll be able to connect my winch to this board and hopefully lift it. I can only think of one good way to test this thing. is going to work. All right. It was a successful test.
So my tripod isn't working very well. That's a shocker. Um, I'm going to try to lift this again. I'm going to try to put a bench underneath one side. Uh, I don't have high hopes, but I have hopes. We need like three inches. I can't do it. I can't do it by myself. Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself. Nope, it's gonna crush your hand. I'm just gonna have like 17 hernias. Just get up and move it over. Alright, you used to be able to spin this little guy. Not anymore, chap. Leverage. <sighs> oh, neck hernia. Plenty of room. What's the problem? Ah.
stupid piece of plastic. This could be the problem. Hitty. That just moved. That just moved. <laughs> All right, new idea. I'm gonna try to put that middle barrel underneath the back section. And I just lifted up on it with some leverage. And the whole dock moved towards the water. That would be fantastic if that worked. And then my, my thinking is that once it's in the water, it'll be easier to lift and put these barrels back where they belong and then finish pushing it into the water. Horse flies. Ah.
all you know. Great. Yeah. Are you leaving? Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. This was uh, not easy, as you could tell. Um, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. And in the next video, I'll be putting the decking on. Stay tuned.